in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome layout like this that controls the text over here on the right side by clicking on tabs or using arrow navigation with our new feature called remote controls. Without any more further ado, let's get started. To get started, the first thing we're going to want to make sure is that we have unlimited elements for Elementor installed on our website and we have the pro version activated since some of the widgets that I'm going to demonstrate today are included only in the pro version of the plugin. So we're going to install three widgets to achieve our layout. The first widget is under content widgets category inside of the widget library and it's called content carousel. This is going to be our parent uh, in our layout that we're going to make and we're going to add two remote control widgets under the remote control widgets category. Over here, we're going to install the remote arrows and the remote tabs. Now remember, you don't have to navigate using the buttons over here. You can just search for a certain widget in the search and it will filter from all the categories and show you whatever widget matches your search query. Let's jump into Elementor and to start making our layout, the first thing I'm going to do is just add a one column section over here, which looks awesome. And let's add actually another column and push this all the way to the left. I'm going to leave about 10% here on the left side. So we can just use this handle to drag that out. And inside of the section, what I'm going to do is actually choose full width. So we have a small little column over here and the rest of the column is taking the rest of the space. Next thing I'm going to do is add an intersection in my right column. And inside of that intersection, what I will do is I will add my widgets. So the first widget is going to be the parent widget. It's called content carousel. So let's search for that in the search over here. Here it is. Let's drag that inside to our right column in our right intersection. And I'm going to leave only one item. So I just want one item over here in sort of a carousel type thing. We can align the text to the left and inside of layout, I'm going to turn off my arrows, turn off my dots, and I'm even going to turn off the image. So we just have a carousel over here that we're going to control with our remote controls. Now to connect remote controls before we add them, I'm going to click over here and enable remote control navigation and enable remote connection. So now I'm going to add another widgets by clicking on the widgets pane and I'm going to search for the word remote. And over here we have remote arrows and remote tabs. So let's drag in the arrows over here and you can see that that automatically connected to our carousel. And now it's actually navigating between the different slides of the carousel. Awesome. So we'll get to the styling part later on. Let's add our next widget. So remote and we want tabs. So I'm going to throw that inside over here. And you can see that this is also controlling our carousel. Awesome. Next part is um, what I think I'm going to do is only leave three items in each one of these. So over here inside of the items, let's delete the last one. And over here in the items, let's delete the last one. So we have three items and three items in our carousel. Let's start styling this up a little bit. So the layout of these is in a row. 
going to change that to be in a column. So they're one under the other. Looking good. Looking good. Awesome. So next part is actually I'm going to match the titles that we see on the left side over here. So all in one solution is OK. Let's just copy the correct title. So let's copy the title and put it in our items over here. So that will look good. And let's go to the next item. Copy it. Let's copy it over here, items. And let's go for the last one. Advanced tools and copy it over here. Now, of course, this can work with any text or any data that you put inside. So these are going to be our buttons. And over here now, I don't need the title. So inside of layout, I'm going to hide the title and I have just text. So these are going to be the titles and they're going to control this carousel over here. Awesome. Next part, we can start styling our tabs. So let's go into style, title, and make it a lot bigger. So let's make it something like that. Looking cool. And the next part, I think what I'm going to do is make it bolder as well. So just so it looks more prominent. Oops, I moved that to a different section. Let's drag it back inside. Awesome. So this is looking good. And we can start styling this off a little bit. So let's add over here in this intersection. I'm going to add a background. Let's go for a purplish kind of deep blue kind of background. I'm going to copy this. Maybe I'm going to use it all later. And now we can change our text to white. So over here inside of title, let's give these a color. And inside of item, right now in, in the normal item, I'm going to push down the opacity to 60%. So right now you can see there's a hover state and there's an active state, which you can change over here. So for the hover state, Instead of 100%, I'm going to go for 80%. So just type in 80 over here. And you can see that makes it a little bit more interactive. So we can choose whatever we want over here. Awesome. Inside of this column over here, I'm going into advanced and I'm going to take off the padding just so that snaps to the top. Next part. I'm going to go to the outer section, not the inner one. And in height, I'm going to add fit to screen, which looks awesome, I think. And over here, maybe in the layout of the column, that looks pretty good. We can leave that. And we can go inside of the intersection and also in the layout, change that to fit to screen. Now, if you want to center these in the middle over here, we're going to need to go into the column and to vertical align it to the middle. So let's do that again over here, vertical align to middle. And now we can edit this carousel a little bit just to style that so it looks even better. So let's go into style, content, I'm going to take off the padding since we don't need it. And we're going to take off the background by clearing the color and now let's change the text color to white and maybe change the typography let's go for 21 pixels just so it's not too small about the button let's jump to the button back to our carousel button button radius i'm going to change to zero button background i'll change to white and the button text color, I'll choose my purplish kind of color, just so that matches the background over here. Looking pretty good. Everything is working as expected. And let's style our arrows. So for the arrows, I'm going to go over here, 
and instead of row, I'm going to use column just so they're one under the other. And I'm going to the, align them to the end just so they line up over here with the rest of the section. So end and gap, I'm going to leave, let's leave one pixel. And inside of style, we can take off our radius and we can also take off our border and give these a background. So let's give them a background, also our bluish kind of color. Button icon, which is the icon inside, let's change that to white. And inside of content, what I'm going to do is actually choose an up arrow and a down arrow. Over here inside of the column, I'm going to change the padding to zero or maybe to one, just so I leave only one pixel to get our layout perfect. Now, these arrows are a bit small, so inside of style, we can just make them 80 pixels wide and high. Awesome. Now you can see this got a little bit out of sync. So that's a small glitch. So I'm just going to click update to save and refresh. You won't have these problems in the front end. This just may occur while editing in the back end and we're working on even improving this even more. So awesome. Last thing I think I want to add is maybe some labels to over here, just so it says 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. So just to give these small little badges. So let's push that back over here. Inside of layout, I'm going to click show label. This is our label. Awesome. Inside of the items, I'm going to give each label some text. In my case, it's just numbers. And let's see how we can move these to the correct place. So style, going into label, and I'm going to give it a negative value in horizontal spacing snapped to the left by default. And in vertical, let's move, push that down looking pretty good. You can play around with this, of course. And now we can style it. So maybe let's take off the label background and leave only the numbers. And I think let's try it with different type of numbers. Let's say 0, 01, 0, 02, just so that looks a little bit cooler. And 0, 03. So that's looking pretty good, I can say. You can think of about a couple of ways how you could style this. Maybe I'll push the labels a little bit more to the left. So let's go over here and more negative spacing. Now in the intersection, I'm going just to change the width a little bit because I think that's too wide. Let's click update. Now you can see it's cropping the carousel slides a little bit. So just to refresh that, what you do is you can turn on or off any part over here, for example, loop, and that will refresh that. So that's looking pretty good. Let's check that everything is working. And my final test is going to be in the front end. Look what an awesome layout it is without any of the editor interfering for us. So that's looking pretty awesome. You can use these arrows to navigate. You can even slide these and it's going to update the active item on our remote tabs. So with this technique, you can achieve many types of layouts and really interesting and cool stuff. This was just one example with just a couple of widgets that we have in our widget library. I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.